Hey guys, this is the Bowser 701 and this is the guide to kill Sif the Great Grey Wolf. Now you may say, oh look at the cute puppy. I can't kill him, he's so cute. Yeah, but you're still gonna have to. And he's not gonna look too cute when he's trying to viciously kill you and rip you apart to shreds. Anyway, since this is the first try in the playthrough, you get to see the clip, so sit back and enjoy. So Sif is one vicious ass dog and that sword he has in his mouth, that thing can do some serious damage. Uh, basically the way to kill him is you need to get under him next to his chest to where all his attacks will miss you. Uh, after there you can try throwing some blows. Um, I'm playing with I'm playing locked onto him now but I noticed uh, I did a few times without locking on it worked good too. So it's completely up to preference. Uh, one big thing to note is uh, to see where his swing is going to be, if he flips the sword uh, to the other way in his mouth, that means he's going to do the double attack to where he swings twice in the, in the circle like right now. Uh, that one you want to just stay away from because unless you have a pretty nice stamina bar and a good shield with good stability, it's going to pierce through it like butter. So basically, I, s I usually roll in... Um, right after he does that first swing sometimes he does follow up with a second so you gotta be careful on that um, also he sometimes will just literally jump on top of you so that can be of help uh, basically once you're under there you're pretty much safe from his attacks uh, you should probably be under the chest I know I'm not right now but you should be under there because sometimes his if you're just facing his legs his attacks will hit you so you gotta be careful on that uh, he will fly away and break your lock. Uh, immediately try to look, immediately like, don't even try to look to him. As fast as you can, put your shield up to make sure he doesn't come sprinting at you. Uh, and stay away from that ground pound attack. That thing will do some serious damage. Uh, but, uh, after you get it down, you keep your distance, you take your time. He shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, it's just a matter of perfecting, knowing when he's gonna swing and knowing where he's gonna swing and knowing when to run in and whatnot. Um, I know fire works pretty good. I've tried using combustion. It does quite a bit of damage on him. But then again, pyromancy destroys everything, so it's not really hard. But, um, yeah, so after a while, uh, the dog will start to limp. Uh, that pretty much means that's the end of the fight. He does it when he gets to low HP. Uh, it's just a thing they programmed, but, um, yeah, when he limps, it's really easy. He still will swing, and you'll see here at the end that, uh, his swing actually does some damage on me. Uh, other than that, though, it's not too much. It, first time around, uh, some people may have trouble with this boss, but usually everyone has trouble on the first time around on a boss. Uh, so you see right now he's limping, I'm going in to kill him, and, yeah, it's quite simple. Uh, once you get down his attacks and styles, uh, the boss isn't really too difficult. So you get the Covenant Artorias, which lets you go to the Abyss and fight the Four Kings, and you get his soul. Also, make sure to go over here and pick up the Hornet's Ring. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.